Hello, our names are Gunjan and Boris, and we are going to explain to you how your water samples were analyzed. The analysis was done with an instrument called Inductively Coupled Plasma Atomic Emission Spectroscope, better known as ICP-AES. We use the ICP-AES instrument to examine your water samples for traces of contaminants. The ICP-AES has many different parts, but we will go over how the major ones work step by step. In the beginning, we treated your water sample with acid. This was done to prevent the contam contaminants in the water sample from sticking onto the sample bottle or the instrument tubes. Your water sample begins its journey in a part of the instrument known as the sample introduction system. It gets the water sample to the second part, called the torch assembly. The pump continuously takes up small amounts of the water sample through small tubes into something called the nebulizer. This atomizes the liquid water sample, turning, the, turning it into many tiny droplets, producing a fine spray, and moves them in along with argon gas into the torch assembly. Now, the torch assembly breaks down the water sample into atoms. It accomplishes this through argon plasma. What is plasma, you ask? Well, Plasma is a gas that has been heated to extremely high temperatures. Approximately 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. At which point, electrons fly off the atoms. Why do we use plasma, you ask? Because it generates such high temperatures, of course. These, tem these high temperatures are required to quickly break apart the tiny droplets of the water sample into individual atoms. This process happens as the sample collides with the plasma. During these collisions, the electrons of individual atoms get excited and then naturally relax over time, producing different colored light that is unique to that specific element. All of the light emitted by the sample is then detected and separated by the computer. The brighter the unique light of the contaminant, the higher its concentration in the sample. Thus, this is how we found which metals are present in your water samples and in what quantity.